check out this little truck right here. So this is a uh, kind of a work in progress and uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet but I figured it out. I know it might as well just kind of show uh, what it does and how I've got it working and kind of some ideas of what I might do with it. So the general idea was well I kind of just want to make the new mail truck. Uh, so if go into Blender here. You may have seen the images of the new mail truck. I think it looks uh, pretty interesting. It's odd looking. It's very cartoon looking. And so I thought, oh, that would be a good challenge to kind of learn some more modeling. So I did, I, I went into Blender and I constructed this little model here. Uh, so we have the mail truck here and I decided, well, why stop there? So then I put it in the studio and I rigged it up with, um, springs and cylindrical constraints in order to get the suspension loadout working. I didn't want to stop there. So, you know, once I got it driving and stuff, then I was like, well, I got to make the steering wheel work. And then it's like, well, what about the back door? Originally, there was a solid piece. So I went back into Blender and I worked on actually making the back door a separate piece that we could go in and actually rotate within the game. Got that done and that took a while. That's also connected with a cylindrical constraint which is basically a combination of a prismatic and a hinge. Prismatic, if you can think of it, think of an elevator that just goes up and down. Um, that's kind of a, a prismatic, it's a up and down on one axis. Cylindrical is like the same thing, but with a hinge at the end. I wanted it to swing open, but also go in. And once I got that done, I was like, well, okay, might as well make packages now too. Back in a blender, went to make some simple packages. Very simple, low poly packages here. So I got those in here too, and I was like, okay, well, now I need to make a system to drag them into the car. A result is as follows. So looking at the car first, I can get into the vehicle. If I turn the wheels, you'll see the wheels turn. Now the way that's being done, if you saw it, I only had cylindrical constraints and springs on the front, as well as the back. Those by default won't allow me to turn the wheel. So in order to actually turn the wheels in the front, I have to rotate the attachment and that's done programmatically. And so in order to get that kind of smooth movement right there, I'm using kind of a, a simulated spring. In terms of the suspension loadout, if we kind of drive around a little bit, here we go. So, you know, to some degree that was realistic, right? You don't want to take it on some huge drop off. That's not going to work very well. But on these kind of rolling hills, you can see it handles decently well. It's pretty smooth, it feels pretty natural. Like there's nothing that feels off about it necessarily. So let's take it back to this little loading facility here. Okay, let's get out. So now we can actually go to the back and we can hit E and open up the back door. So if I open this, I can now go to one of these packages and you can see it highlights green when I put my mouse over them. So if I click and hold, I'll actually pick up the package and I can walk around with it. What I can do now is I can pick it up and I can actually bring it into this truck and drop it. You can see that that package has welded itself to the vehicle. I can do that again with maybe a package here. There it is. So now if I drive around the vehicle, I'll just go forward a little bit, packages come with it. Now to remove those welds or whatever, all I have to do is just pick up the package and it comes with me. But what if I put a package on top of another one? There it is. You'll see the package below it becomes red when I highlight over it. That's because this package didn't weld itself to the vehicle, it welded itself to the package below. Okay, so now what I can do then is, you know, load up whatever packages I want, close the door, and I don't know exactly what my concept is for this yet, but roughly speaking, I think it would be cool if you had some sort of mechanic where you then have some sort of route, and maybe it's based on the packages you pick up, maybe they're color-coded or have a number on them, something like that, and then you have to actually go and deliver it. So, you know, that means you're going to have to, you know, learn the routes. You're going to have to learn, uh, you know, what's the most efficient way to get somewhere. Perhaps there would be kind of a, a time bonus for doing well. And then, I don't know, you just come to a residence or some sort of lot and you drop off the necessary packages within some sort of unloading zone like this right here. And once that's done, you can just close the back door and go back. <laughs> 